So once again, uh, a very good morning to everybody who has joined in today uh, for this Sunday webinar on studies abroad after 12th. So this is the topic that we are going to deal with today. So thank you for joining in. Uh, I'll make some basic announcements and then we will start this webinar. So speaker for today's webinar uh, uh, would be Anubhav sir and myself, Manish Saraf. We represent Universal Tutorials and we'll be talking on the given subject. As we start this webinar, uh, there are some small recommendations and advice uh, so that you have a seamless, good experience of this webinar. Since we are doing this virtually, on the audio thing, we have kept all our, our audio volumes at the optimum level. So you can acknowledge and let me know if you are if you can hear me clearly. Which acknowledgements are mil jayenge in form of thumbs up or chat, uh, where you can hear me clearly. Agar aapko meri awaaz thik se sunai de rahi hai, so please uh, kindly acknowledge it. Okay, thank you, thank you, Kavim, thank you. So right, thank you, everyone. O on the video front, so you can keep audio volumes as, as per your suitability. On the video front, we will highly recommend that you should select something called as speaker view, which is available on the right top corner of your laptop, desktop, or tab screen, where there's something called as view. You could select speaker view. So whenever there's a change in speaker, it will automatically switch to the given sp speaker, and you will be able to see the speakers, PPT, and all that. So uh, select speaker view. You will not be distracted by others. This is a small request. If you are bandwidth permits and if you are environment permits, or rather you could move to an environment where you can uh, put on your video, it will help the speaker, it will help us while we are making this presentation. Um, though this is virtually, but you know, uh, looking at the live faces rather than the black tiles is always a good thing to have. And uh, that helps the speaker, motivates the speaker when they're presenting a topic like this, which is full of information. So, if you have bandwidth permit, karta hai, environment permit, karta hai, ideally we will say that you can, you should keep your video in an on mode. Aap audio band rakh sakte hai, whenever you want to speak, you can put it on. But otherwise, you can put it off. But video on will be highly appreciated. Keeping a notebook and a pen ready with you will help you note down some important contact numbers, email IDs, dates, and a lot of other information related to fees and universities and so on. So you can also get a personal copy of whatever we are presenting today as a PDF document after WhatsApp. Pe aapko mil sakta hai. For that, we will share a phone number, WhatsApp number towards the end of this webinar where you can text us hi. So number hum aapko batayenge. And in return, you can get PDF of this webinar. So these are a few things that we that I wanted to share with you. Now I hand it over to Anubhav sir to formally begin the webinar. Sir, to you. Thank you, Manishji. So, good morning, everybody. Myself is Anubhav Sinhal, Director, Universal Tutorials. So, I hope I am being, I am audible. So, I would now share my screen and uh, start with this PPT. So, this is my PPT screen. And so, you can adjust your view as Manish has said. Uh, so this is how the PPT would look like. So I hope everybody is able to see this. Are we ready to go? The PPT is not visible. This is Zoom screen that we can see. Now it's good, yes. Okay, please audience, if you can confirm, everybody is able to see my PPT. And you can also select the mode which Sir has said. Please select the mode. Okay, Chaliye. thank you. So let's get started. So we are today on a Sunday morning talking about study abroad. So this is something uh, which we at UT do uh, almost now every two Sundays of a month. Myself and Manish are up for this UT events, which we call it. And what are these? These are value added lecture workshop for students. And what do they do? They help to promote awareness among students. And today, the topic is study abroad after standard 12. So it helps you to take informed decisions. You will exactly know the process. So you will be able to decide, is this right thing for me or not? 
This is eighth in the series already. We started this academic calendar, uh, uh, calendar from January onwards. So January, February, March, we've already done uh, seven before. This is eighth webinar, which we are doing. For our more sessions, please go to our Facebook page and you will come to know our upcoming webinars. So that's about these events today. Now, what is today's agenda? Today's agenda is, I will first talk about universal tutorials. Some of you may be aware of universal tutorials. Some of you may not. A very short introduction about universal tutorials. And then I will share a audio video uh, presentation or rather of some bites of some students who passed out last year from UT study, study abroad division. And they are actually now studying at various US universities. So unke parents ki un bachon ki kuch bites hai. So that will help you to understand how our students are experienced after that. Unke kya feelings hai, unke kya sentiments. Next, we would talk about the heart of the presentation, study abroad option. So wo option kya hai and baat sare questions ke jawab denge isme. And then we will talk about our program options. Ki UT study abroad ko kaise handle karta hai. How do we prepare you for training and applications. And then we'll open the house for question and answers. Ab isme alternatively, me and Manish both will together take turns take this presentation. I will take first part of it and then in between Manish will take the main part of it and then I'll come back and end the presentation. And then the entire house will be open for question and answers. Jaise sir ne bola, Manish sir ne, it will be a good idea. You keep a paper and pen handy. So you can note things from that. And since we both are speaking, if you write something in the chat, we will not be really able to answer you at that moment. The idea would be that you write what questions are your questions. And then we will answer you at that moment. The idea would be that you write what questions are your questions. And then at the end of the presentation, you unmute yourself and directly ask us questions. We will be able to more than happy take one-on-one -on -one questions and answer each one of you. It's a small presentation. कोई बहुत सारे जो लोग नहीं हैं, so मेरी एक और request रहेगी जो मनीष सर ने request करी कि right now you know I am speaking to black tiles. मेरे को सिर्फ नाम दिख रहे हैं दीप दीपाली मोदी प्रशन्ना बेंद्रे साई यशस सुषमा जी राधिका सदमे राम आर इरफान खान कृष्णराज गणेश नारायण अब्दुल आहाद बास्कर Riddhima Saksena, so if we can see a good name, if somebody can see a good name, when we were before COVID, we were doing an IMEI hall, so people were looking at the front of us, so we were talking a little bit about saying that I'm talking about what I'm talking about, I'm talking about what I'm talking about, as a teacher, I'm purely a teacher, I and Manish, so it looks a little bit good. If you permit your environment, I will request that you please on the video, and on the video, and on the video, we will continue like this, so I can see the reaction of Manish Ji, और मनीष जी मेरा रिएक्शन देखते हैं और हम एक दूसरे को प्रोत्साहित करते रहते हैं चलिए विद दैट अपील आई गेट स्टार्टेड सो अबाउट यूनिवर्सल ट्यूटोरियल्स अबाउट यूनिवर्सल ट्यूटोरियल्स दिस यूनिवर्सल ट्यूटोरियल्स वाज फाउंडेड इन द ईयर 1998 इट्स बीन अ लॉन्ग जर्नी अ गुड 24 इयर्स इन दिस जर्नी ऑफ 24 इयर्स वी हैव कोस्ट अपवर्ड्स ऑफ 35000 स्टूडेंट्स इन इतने बच्चों को हमने प्लेस किया है एंड वी हैव टच देयर लाइव्स we are spread across six locations in Navi Mumbai. Hum hai right from Airoli, say Koper Kherme, say Vashi, Sanpara, Nerul, and Kargar. So we are spread in six locations in Navi Mumbai. This is where we, but in COVID, we've got this opportunity. Jahan pe hum ye online karte hai, to humare paas ab geographical boundaries nahi hai. And we get students from all across the country. We have students coming from as far as Assam. We have students coming from down south, west, north, up north. We have also students joining us from UK, US, and we coach students all across the world through now our Zoom technology. And we have students coming from beyond geographies also. Ab hum kya karte hai? What do we do? We primarily on three broad areas. We get into board exam coaching, CBSC and ICSC coaching. Karte hai hum. We do Indian exams. Indian exams may have JEE, NEET, Engineering, Medical Exam Coaching. Then we do IPM, which is Management Entrance Exam Coaching. We do CA Foundation. So we have typical Indian exams, four Indian exams, JEE, NEET, CA Foundation, IPM. We do coaching. Then we also do study abroad. Study abroad is what is the division which 
the webinar is on today study abroad mein hum kya areas karte hain study abroad mein hum core exam training karte hain undergrad level pe sat ki aur grad level pe gre so these are the two exams which we train for then we also train for two english exams tofil and ielts inki training karte hain we also do application support jahan pe we help you with letter of recommendations essays lor stands for letter of recommendation sops are statement of purpose in sab ki hum help karte hain so study abroad mein hum ye broad ye kaam karte hain so that's about universal tutorials now before i move ahead with the presentation ek chhota sa zoom poll karna chahta hu poll mein main ye malum karna chahta hu that what is the today's audience ki composition composition will help me primarily talk uh, customize my talk accordingly ki since this is a talk on study abroad after standard 12 to main aapka present status samajhna chahta hu ki aap Uh, अब ये पोल आपके स्क्रीन पे आएगा अभी कुछ नहीं करना है एक मिनट बाद जब मैं बोलूंगा तब आपको पोल करना है आपके स्क्रीन पे आएगा आपको ये ऑप्शन आएंगे कि आपको बताना है कि आप स्टैंडर्ड नाइन टेंथ में हो कि आप प्रेजेंटली इन इलेवेंथ मतलब टेंथ मूविंग टू इलेवेंथ हो प्रेजेंटली इन इलेवेंथ मतलब टेंथ मूविंग टू इलेवेंथ या आप ट्वेल्थ में हो प्रेजेंटली इन इलेवेंथ गोइंग टू ट्वेल्थ ट्वेल्थ मतलब इलेवेंथ गोइंग टू ट्वेल्थ एंड या बियॉन्ड ट्वेल्थ इनमें से कोई एक ऑप्शन आपको पिक करना है नीलेष सर इफ यू कैन गेट दी पोल स्टार्टेड सो प्लीज पिक वन ऑप्शन आपको चैट में नहीं लिखना है इसी में लिखना है and once you've picked within about another 10 seconds uh, our team will display the results of the poll perfect so standard 11th matlab these are students going from 10th to 11th about 50% of the audience today are students who are going from 10th to 11th and another 36% that makes it 86% are the students who are going from 11th to 12th so that's the presentation is primarily catered to these audience and who are beyond 12th about 40% of them i would request ki aap presentation ke baad हमसे जरूर रुक के मिले बात करें एंड यू नो वेन एवरीबडी इज लेफ्ट यू गाइज टू स्टे बैक एंड वी वुड लाइक टू टॉक टू यू वेर वी कैन इंडिविजुअली हेल्प यू एंड अंडरस्टैंड की हाउ वी कैन ब्रिंग आउट सोल्यूशन टू यू द एंटायर प्रेजेंटेशन में वी हैव सोल्यूशन फॉर एटी सिक्स परसेंट ऑफ दॉपुलेशन रिमेनिंग आप पूरा सुनिए आपको समझ में जरूर आएगा लेकिन उसके बाद हमसे इंडिविजुअली बात करिए वील बी एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड योर पोजिशन एंड ट्राई टू रिकमेंड अल्यूशन फॉर यू चलिए with this now let's get started with the <coughs> presentation so now we are at sabse pehle up front jaise maine agenda bataya tha we have the student testimonials uh, so sir main ek minute share wapas band karke wapas kar raha hu i think i did not share the sound allow me ek minute and yeah, okay can i share here also yes chali so uh sir i'll play it for 10 seconds once i get a confirmation from you i will replay it again hello everyone my name is mehak sha and i will be attending the university of massachusetts at amherst from this fall 2020 i have been with tut since the past 4 years and i have always admired the structured approach they take towards all the program that they uh, offer The study abroad program is no exception. Anurag sir and uh, Mani sir guided us personally through the various steps of applying to the US, from getting the SAT to selecting the universities that match my profile. And this wouldn't have been possible without Anurag sir and his team. I am Pradeep Mahakur, the father of Anurag Mahakur, uh, who has been a student of uh, University of Delhi under the guidance of Anurag sir. Uh, and I'm very happy and uh, to say here uh, something. Uh, my son has. Gotten admit uh, UW Madison uh, undergraduate program in computer science major. Uh, so we are parents of Ashwin Deshpande. 
So we were quite reluctant about allowing Ashwin to go and study abroad and we looked at SAC only as a means of getting into bits because his elder brother is, was there. And from there to today where Ashwin is enthusiastic about going to Purdue and we have embraced the concept that he will be there has been a long journey but UT has held our hand at every step of the way. Now they have guided us, they have given us all the information required and more but allowed us to make our own decision. No, I think it's a very professional team but a very important personal touch. So uh, everything, they, they have all the information but they take into account the child's and the family's needs. So I think it's very exclusive and it's very individual. Uh, hello, uh, this is Professor Mangesh Mohan. Uh, I'm working as a principal in Padre Nil Bandra. It's a polytechnic college. Uh, the thought of a study abroad uh, came to my mind uh, in the month of September, August, September. We were very much serious about uh, getting into uh, any of the NITs, not uh, JW, uh, not INTs. Uh, but nonetheless, he changed my thought process, uh, provoking me to go for a study abroad. And he uh, informed me about the kind of universities and the kind of education system, let's say what US has got. So when I asked my wife, uh, uh, that time let's say we were a bit skeptical of here, but then let's say when I asked Nora, what is your choice, that time he said, let's say I want to give a try. And uh, I told him, let's say I can take a risk of, you know, let's say one lakh or two lakh rupees, when I will spend some money for training purpose. And then at the same time, let's say I, I uh, made him understand that he has to concentrate both on JWE as well as uh, this SAT and all. He got the uh, admit from Arizona State University with a scholarship. Uh, we thank uh, uh, UT for giving this opportunity for my son to uh, go to one of the finest university in the US. Thank you, UT. So that was what you've listened to students who went last year and they have gone to different universities. So they followed a particular path from standard 9, 10, 11, 12, they followed a particular path. What is this? Let's get into that heart of the discussion. So now, study abroad, I think if we can anticipate, you have questions when, how, what, where. Then you have questions. Can it be made a plan B? Ki India ke saath saath can it become a plan B? And then what are the costs? So hang on to, we will address all these questions in this presentation. So let's start with the first question, when, how, ye char question, mein se pehla question, when chalu karte hai, when. So I think when ka ek hai, you could go abroad after standard 12th, or you could go abroad after your graduation. You do your graduation here in India and post-graduation for masters you go abroad. So, aise do tarike hain, ya to aap 12th ke baad jau, ya aap graduation ke baad Traditionally, Indian students have chosen the second option. But now there is a trend shift. Jaise mein khud hoon, my father did not have the affordability to send me so I did my engineering from Bitspilani and then went on to do my MBA from Penn State. But because of more awareness, prosperity among Indians have risen. Abroad studies have become now affordable to us. Today, we are typically focusing on first option. So in Navi Mumbai itself, Universal Tutorials is pioneering number one, where we have now First, Ivy League admit, Cornell admit, UPenn admit, where students are going abroad after standard 12 to pursue their engineering, their other graduate courses. Instead of India, they are now getting into the US and Canada or Australia, New Zealand universities over there. So, wo option kya hai? So, we will be today talking essentially about when after standard 12th. So that's the first question which we've answered ki when come after standard 12th. Ab agar humko after standard 12th jana hai to how? How can we go? So how? There are two major routes. One is a non-merit route. The second is the merit route. Ab what is this non-merit route? Non-merit route is the low rank universities. They could have low costs or they could come with high costs. 
खर्चा कम भी हो सकता है खर्चा ज्यादा भी हो सकता है दे रियली डोंट रिक्वायर गुड अकेडमिक्स वॉट इज दोडस ऑफ इंडिया ऑफ दीज यूनिवर्सिटीज देर आर कमीशन एजेंट ऑल ओवर दी प्लेस अगर आप जेडब्ल्यू मैरियट जू में जाओगे या फाइव स्टार होटल उसके ग्राउंड फ्लोर पे वहां पे टेबल्स परमानेंट टेबल्स लगी हुई है इनकी वहां पे आपको क्या करना है यू जस्ट पे चेक लेके जाना है पैसा देना है एडमिशन मिल जाए सो वॉट वुड हैपन एंड रिजल्ट वुड बी यू वुड गो अब्रॉड आप यूके जाओगे यूएस जाओगे कैनेडा जाओगे बट प्लेसमेंट आपको नहीं मिलेंगे सो so, जैसे इंडिया में आप नवी मुंबई में हो गया यू वॉन्ट टू डू इंजीनियरिंग आप इंजीनियरिंग की कोई दिक्कत नहीं है देर आर फिफ्टीन इंजीनियरिंग कॉलेज ऑल अक्रॉस नवी मुंबई आप बस जाओ पैसा दो एंड यूल गेट एन इंजीनियरिंग सीट बट गेटिंग एन आई आई टी बॉम्बे सीट इज नॉट इजी सो द नॉन मेरिट रूट दिस इज वॉट इज द नॉन मेरिट रूट वॉट इज द मेरिट रूट मेरिट रूट इज यू गेट इन टू हाईली रैंड यूनिवर्सिटीज लाइक यू आर टॉकिंग अबाउट दी आईवी लीग यूनिवर्सिटीज और जैसे अभी आपने पेरेंट्स को सुना पर्ड्यू कंप्यूटर साइंस सो दीज यूनिवर्सिटीज they do they offer scholarship they offer genuine scholarships they come at low to high costs you need good academics you need a good profile process you need to appear for an exam and then apply to these universities and then you will get an admission end result you will get very good placements example is apne uh, india ke star example sundar pichai he has gone through this process only so he did not follow the non merit route he obviously followed the merit route so how today at universal tutorials aaj ki presentation mein we will be talking about the merit route to so, merit route ka how samjhe what is the merit route how ab agar if i want to explain you the abroad merit route allow me to ek minute india se contrast karke samjhaunga so i'll be better able to explain अगर आपको इंडिया में मेरिट रूट लेना है तो इंडिया में मेरिट रूट कैसे चलता है देर आर मल्टीपल एग्जाम्स फॉर डिफरेंट स्ट्रीम्स इन इंडिया मीनिंग कि अगर सपोज इंडिया में आप सब बच्चे जैसे मेरे को बताया आपने पोल में यू आर स्टूडेंट्स वर गोइंग फ्रॉम टेंथ टू इलेवेंथ तो आप सब लार्जली मोर देन फिफ्टी परसेंट ऑफ ऑडियंस अराउंड फिफ्टी परसेंट ऑफ दस इज गोइंग फ्रॉम टेंथ टू इलेवेंथ सो आपके पास अभी एक डिसीजन जो आपको लेना है कि वॉट डू यू वॉन्ट टू डू एज योर करियर तो सपोज अगर किसी एक बच्चे ने बोला मेरे को इंजीनियरिंग करनी है सो ही आफ्टर ट्वेल्थ इन इंडिया में ही टू राइट जेडब्ल्यू का एंट्रेंस एग्जाम कोई बच्चा कहता है मेरे को मेडिकल करनी है तो उसको नीट का एंट्रेंस एग्जाम लिखना पड़ेगा कोई बच्चा कहता है कि नहीं मेरे को आर्किटेक्चर करना है तो ही टू राइट नाटा का एग्जाम लिखना पड़ेगा कोई बच्चा कहता है कि मेरे को डिजाइन करना है तो एनआईडी का एग्जाम लिखना पड़ेगा मैं कहने की क्या कोशिश कर रहा हूं डिपेंडिंग अपॉन आपको क्या करना है वो जो भी कोई करियर कोई बोलता है सीए फाउंडेशन करना है तो आपको सीए फाउंडेशन का एग्जाम लिखना पड़ेगा तो अलग अलग स्ट्रीम्स के अलग अलग एग्जाम और ये सारे एग्जाम कब होते हैं दीज एग्जाम्स आर हैपनिंग आफ्टर स्टैंडर्ड ट्वेल्थ दिस इज द इंडियन सिनेमा जहां पे आपको अभी डिसाइड करना है कि आपको क्या करना है एंड देन दो साल उस एग्जाम की तैयारी करनी है जेडब्ल्यू में पीसीएम की तैयारी करनी है नीट में पीसीबी की तैयारी करनी है नाटा में वो डिजाइन एग्जाम की तैयारी करनी है सबकी अलग अलग दो साल वो तैयारी करनी है टीबीए टेक्निकल एग्जाम और वो एग्जाम कब होगा ट्वेल्थ एग्जाम आपका दो साल बाद मार्च में होगा उसके बाद अप्रैल में जून में ये सारे एग्जाम बट इफ यू वॉन्ट टू गो अब्रॉड अब्रॉड देर इज वन सिंगल एग्जाम वॉट इज दैट एग्जाम दैट एग्जाम इज एस स्कॉलरस्टिक एप्टीट्यूड टेस्ट एंड ये एग्जाम आप ट्वेल्थ के बाद नहीं लिखना है ये पूरा प्रोसेस ट्वेल्थ के पहले खत्म हो जाएगा और अभी हम बताएंगे कैसे वो खत्म हो जाए इनफैक्ट दिस एग्जाम कुड बी रिटर्न एज अर्स इन ग्रेड नाइन्थ में लिख सकते हैं और सारी स्ट्रीम्स के लिए एक ही एग्जाम सो लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड ये क्या चीज सो अगर आपको मोटा मोटी समझ में आया है तो फर्स्ट आई वॉन्ट टू मेक यू अंडरस्टैंड अगर आपको स्टडी अब्रॉड जाना है तो देर इज ओनली वन एग्जाम which is open for all streams irrespective of whether you are going for engineering medicine commerce finance arts humanities journalism sabke liye ek hi exam hai and that exam has to be taken before the 11th exams before the 12th exams so thank you mr pratham wagmare uh, for putting on your video acha laga sir aapka dekh ke to abhi aapke chehre pe mere kuch responses to milenge main jo bol raha hu so i'll be able to speak better thank you mrs pratham wagmare and mr wagmare चलिए लेट्स कंटिन्यू फॉरवर्ड
सो अब ये जो सिंगल एग्जाम है ये सिंगल एग्जाम क्या एग्जाम है इसका नाम है एस ए टी स्कॉलिस्टिक एप्टीट्यूड टेस्ट लेट्स नाउ टॉक अबाउट कि इसके बारे में क्या है सो आई इनवाइट माई कलीग मनीष सराफ सर टू टेक इट फॉरवर्ड फ्रॉम यूर सर ऑल यूर्स फ्रॉम यूर थैंक यू थैंक यू सो मच अनुभव सर सो लेट मी कैरी फॉरवर्ड दिस फ्रॉम वेयर सर लेफ्ट सो वी आर गेटिंग इन टू दी सेकेंड पार्ट ऑफ दिस वेबिनार ये वेबिनार को हमने तीन पार्ट में बांटा है एंड आई एम गेटिंग इन टू दी सेकेंड पार्ट so uh, we'll talk about this exam jaisa sir ne samjhaya which is sat scholastic aptitude test which is considered to be a gateway which is considered to be uh, the door through which you enter some of the best universities in us slash world so sat exam kya hai iske bare mein baat karte hain so scholastic aptitude test that's what sat stands for is conducted by college board a not for profit body the college board is that organization which would conduct this this comes from us this is one exam which is highly recommended at times mandatory for any undergrad courses undergrad jisko hum graduation bolte hain uh foreign mein this is called as undergrad so after 12th you want to do any course you will have to write this exam it is highly highly recommended it is recognized by many universities outside us as well us mein to sabhi recognize karte hain so at uk canada australia singapore new zealand including india universities like shiv nadar ashoka ecol amiti sp jain and also uh, central university or colleges like nits under certain categories but sat ek aisa exam hai jo widely accepted hai recognized what is this exam all about so this exam is conducted five times a year ye main pehle bata dunga aapko that every year it happens five times for international students students outside us and the month are may june august october december and march every time you write this test you are supposed to pay a 109 dollars fees to college board and you can take it as many times as you want to up multiple times ye test ko le sakte hain sorry scores on this test are valid for 5 years and your best scores are considered if you write it more than once then your best scores are reported or considered and 5 saal ke liye score ki validity hai now sat is a test which is digital in nature this happens over computer so this is a uh, digital in nature hence we call it digital sat last year tak ye paper pencil based hota tha ab ye computerized hota hai Five to six times, rather six times a year. SAT has two sections. Two sections are first is called English reading writing section, which has fifty four questions and it is to be done in sixty four minutes. The second section is a math section, forty four questions to be done in seventy minutes. Throughout math section, you have on screen calculator available. Rehta hai. If you look at this, you see this is something like. More than two hours, two hours plus का exam है with a small break between the sections. Each section has two modules. English के दो module होंगे section वन में module वन module टू section टू में भी module वन module टू आएगा So there are two modules under each section and they are time limited. Your score will range between 400 to 1600 points. 1600 being the maximum that you can score on SAT and 400 being the minimum. 800 marks English के हैं 800 maths के हैं That's how 1600 happens. This is a multiple choice test with some small uh, short answer questions. There are no negative marking in this test, so there is no penalty for guessing your answer. There is no negative marking, and this is computer based. Like I said, uh, you'll have to write it on a computer system. so digital sat hota kaisa hai you will have to carry your own device at the test center usme aapko ek particular blue book karke app hai you will have to download that this app will automatically check the compatibility of the device and it will tell you before the test so you will do it let's say a month in advance or couple of weeks in advance and you will see if your device is compatible if it is compatible you can uh, carry this device to the test center connect to the wifi of the test center and write the test this is how it will happen so if you understand sat is a test of maths and english largely maths and english only 
maths, mostly up till standard 10th. That is what skill is check. No matter which board you are coming from, IB, CBSC, Maharashtra State, any state board, ICSC, your syllabus would be up till standard 10th, 90, 95%, rather 97% up till standard 10th. Kevil 3-4% uh, higher maths are around functions, that too at introductory level. English is more about skills. With a focused practice, you can prepare for SAT exam in three to four months. Iski tayari ki ja sakti hai. It, it requires more of conceptual understanding. No cramming is required. You can write it multiple times and scores are valid for five years. Uh, along with SAT, if you have to study abroad, along with SAT, aapko kuch aur chahiye. So the second thing required is an English test. Since Indians are not considered as native English speakers, we are supposed to write one more test. Either we can write IELTS or we can write TOEFL. These are English competency tests. These are basic eligibility tests. Ya aapke admission decision ya scholarship decision to decide nahi karega, jaisa SAT karta hai. Ye basic minimum marks chahiye so that you become eligible to apply. IELTS stands for International English Language Testing Service. TOEFL stands for Test of English as Foreign Language. Both are computer-based tests. They almost happen daily in the calendar year. Maybe 10 days down the line, you will get an appointment, you will go to the center and write these tests on computer. Scores are valid for two years. One score is valid for validity two years. Both tests are valid for two years. They have four sections, reading, writing, listening and speaking. These four sections are in IELTS is out of total points, hote hai, nine. Single digit nine misses score aata hai. TOEFL 120 marks ka test. Hai. So TOEFL training, uh, we do two batches in a year, May and uh, October, November. TOEFL ke hum do batch karte hai. IELTS we do every week. Every week we have a new batch. For a simple reason, IELTS thoda sa jada popular hai. Chaliye. If you want to do medicine, if you want to do medical, if you want to go to that... Uh, Doctor wala line, then that follows a different path. So other than that, hum log aaj jitne bhi baatein kar rahe hain, it stands true for all the careers. Uh, engineering, pure sciences, management, commerce, accounting, economics, hospitality, anything to do with tech. But medicine ke liye ek path hota hai. In case you want to do medicine, we'll have to talk separately and we'll guide you. We generally recommend two most popular, reputed, credible options, that is US and UK. What are other requirements? So that you we have talked about two requirements, an exam called SAT, an English exam called TOEFL or IELTS. So these two things The third important requirement is all your academic records, ninth, start, starting from ninth onwards. So ninth, 10th, 11th, and 12th. 12th ka jaha tak available hai. So in case you are looking for studying abroad, India mein koi aapke 9th, 10th, 11th ke exam scores vaise nahi poochta hai. But if you are looking to study abroad, we will need all your grades from standard 9th onwards. Any school accomplishment, any extracurricular activities outside classroom that make you stand out your vis-a-vis -vis your peers is actually appreciated. You get points for that. Agar kuch aisa hai to, arts, literature, you know, uh, sports, debating, koi leadership position aapne school mein liye, anything that you have, you get extra points for that. Nahi hai to koi baat nahi, but if you have, it is good. Any community service, social service that you have done, that is matching your interest that you want to do aage. So, it, it helps a lot. Community service, agar aapne kiya hai, to ye bhi ek important point hai profile ka. The next requirement is if you have written any scholastic competition, talent search competitions like RMOs, IMOs, these Olympiads, hote hai, NTSCs. So if you have done them, yes, they make some difference. And in your application, they can actually fetch you some extra points. The other must requirement is a SE requirement which you cannot do without is called LOR. Letter of recommendation from your school teachers, ideally from 11th, 12th wali teachers and minimum three of them writing about you. So what are they writing? They are basically writing a one-pager document talking about your strength, weakness, 
uh, your qualities, your achievements, what have they found you, how would they rate and recommend you, all that is put on that document called letter of recommendation. Along with letter of recommendation, which is called application essays, the personal essays, commonly called as statement of purpose, which will talk about your career goals, interest, why you want to do what you want to do, how will you contribute to society, university, and so on. So there are these requirements along with the SAT, which you if you are applying to study abroad. Now, sir ne baat kiya tha, we will discuss about plan B. Let me now tell you and share with you how this can be a good plan B. In case you are planning for some Indian competitive exams like IIT, CA Foundation, Medical, NEET, Law, or a backup plan B rakhna chate, where you are saying that if you are not getting to good institutes in India, you will not do a compromise here and then you will move abroad or abhar us quality ko explore karenge, experience karenge. So this is our method of sharing how it is planned. So what we are saying is you should take SAT as early as possible. If you are in your 11th or moving to 11th, you have moved to 12th, you should take SAT as early as possible. Rather students generally or at times take it even in their 10th standard. So the idea is to take SAT, let's say in 11th standard, 3-4 I have prepared, 11th ke start mein exam le liya, sit with the score, focus on your school studies, focus on your Indian exams, the IIT, JEE, NEET, ya jo bhi aap kar rahe hai, focus on that, uh, you get more time for your Indian exams, because you have SAT, le liya, aapka score has come, now you have 11th, 12th, ka bacha hua time you can spend on that, and you create a good backup plan. Kaise? Let's try and understand. अब ये क्या है ये थोड़ा सा कस्टमाइज होगा तो लेट मी टॉक टू वेरियस कैटेगरीज ऑफ स्टूडेंट हमने जब ये Zoom पोल किया था एज वी स्टार्टेड आई सॉ दैट देयर आर 86% स्टूडेंट्स मूविंग टू 11th और मूविंग टू 12th उसमें भी 12th 30 ऑड था एंड मूविंग टू 11th 50 ऑड था तो एक-एक करके चलते हैं लेट्स कम डाउन टू स्टूडेंट्स हु आर मूविंग टू 12th स्टैंडर्ड नाउ एनी स्ट्रीम यू कुड बी इन आप अभी 12th में आए हैं यू हैव कंप्लीटेड योर uh, 11 standard. How this is a plan B, let's see. So what we are suggesting is that start your SAT preparation and write your SAT in the month of either August or October. Agar do attempt de na hai, to ek August mein de do, ek October mein de do. Write your TOEFL exam this June, July. Choti si teen char mahine ki training hoti hai because these exams are not, you know, where we'll be teaching you English. It's more about developing familiarity. So TOEFL Nilo June, July may do your SAT in August or October, or both maybe SAT leke aapka score agaya, finish of all this. Application for foreign universities will start in this year itself, starting from October month. So ye aisa nahi hoga ki hamara score agaya, ab humko foreign universities bula rahi hai. Aapko koi kahin bhi nahi bula hai you will have to make your profile and send application to each universities digitally saying that, hey, this is I am, ye mere scores hai, ye main hun, and I'm interested in this course at your university. So this application wala kaam hai, that window starts from October, chai wo US ho, UK ho, Canada ho. October to December, abhi aap 12th mein hai, aapne aapka application laga diya hai. You have filed all your application with essays, Transcript, resume, LOR, sab bana ke aapne application laga diya. You start getting admits. Aapko admit decisions aana chalu ho jate hain from this December onwards to coming March. To yaa bhoat dhyan se sunne. Rather yaa sab dhyan se sunne kyunki 11th walo mein safe year change hoga. Milestones vahi rahenge. To December se leke March tak mein aapke admit decisions aane lag jayenge. Universities will tell you uh, what's the status of your application. So let's say you apply to 10 universities. Aapko aisa ho sakta hai, December se March mein, 6 saath mein se admits a jayen. Abhi bhi aap 12th mein ho, ab aap board exam likho ge, if all goes well, ab normal years jaisa behave ho raha hai sab kuch, to March 24 mein you guys are writing your 12th board exam. So board exam likhne ke pehle, aapke haath mein admits hai. Universities give you good, I think minimum two months jaisa yaha pe dikh raha hai, to decide, wo jo 6 saath admits aayen na, Isko join karna hai. Who do you want to confirm your admission with? 
तो फर्स्ट कमिटमेंट मनी 400, 500, 1000 डॉलर के आसपास का यहां पे पे करना है इसके पहले कुछ पे नहीं करना है फॉर स्कूल एडमिशन फीस एप्लीकेशन लगाते समय पे करना है एग्जाम देते समय पे करना है वो एक अलग तरीके का इन्वेस्टमेंट है सो यू डिसाइड इन दी फर्स्ट वीक ऑफ मे रादर बाय फर्स्ट मे वेयर यू वॉन्ट टू ज्वाइन यू गो फॉर योर वीजा आफ्टर दैट जून जुलाई गोज इन वीजा ऑगस्ट इज योर डिपार्चर ऑगस्ट ट्वेंटी फोर नेक्स्ट ईयर ट्वेल्थ वाले स्टूडेंट्स विदाउट वेस्टिंग एनी टाइम अगर कुछ भी इंडिया में अच्छा नहीं हुआ आपका मेन्स नीम के स्कोर ऐसे नहीं है और इंडिया में बहुत बड़ा कॉम्प्रोमाइज करना पड़ेगा तो यू 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 नो वॉट वी आर सेंग इज यू मे एक्सरसाइज योर स्टडी अब्रॉड का ऑप्शन जो आपने अभी से लेके क्रिएट करके छोड़ दिया है अब आप अपना स्टडी अब्रॉड का ऑप्शन एक्सरसाइज करेंगे और आप बाहर फ्लाई आउट कर जाएंगे so if you really look into this slide after august august 24 ke baad aapko study abroad pe koi mehnat nahi karni hai aap aapke indian exams or school exam pe hi focus kar rahe hain aapki utni bandwidth consume nahi ho rahi hai so hence we say that this is a good plan b similarly let's go to standard 11th and let me tell you in india standard 11th is the most popular option by the sheer size of student jo standard 11th mein act ki taiyari karte hain aur exam de dete hain Now, since you are in eleventh standard, and I think more than fifty percent of audiences, you will see that up to the SAT, the SAT giving the chances is more. So you have more uh, chances, or you have more opportunities to take shot at SAT. So you can prepare right now. Take SAT in August, October, December, March, May. आप फर्स्ट सेकेंड अटेम्प्ट आपका प्लान कर सकते हैं. Similarly, for TOEFL, you can write it this November, or you can write it let's say. Uh, next year june so you give your all exams similarly your application opens up september to december mein apni taiyari behtar kar sakte hain you can write with you know put more time into your essays lors and so on and file your application next year september to december similarly your admits come from december 24 to march 25 ke beech mein march 25 mein aap aapka 12th board exam likhoge this is for 11th moving students By May 25, you can decide आपको कहा जाना है कौन सी यूनिवर्सिटी को कंफर्म करना है जून जुलाई ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फाइव इज योर एडमिटेड यूनिवर्सिटी सो ये इलेवेंथ वालों का टाइम लाइन है अभी आप टेंथ से इलेवेंथ में आए हैं इलेवेंथ चालू भी नहीं हुआ है आपकी कोचिंग में अभी उतना लोड नहीं है यू कैन स्टार्ट विद एस टी प्रिपरेशन अगस्त में देके फर्स्ट अटेम्प देके सिट टाइट विद एसिटी स्कोर जरूरत लगे तो डिसंबर में या नेक्स्ट मे मार्च में हम एक और अटेम्प दे सकते हैं सो फॉर इलेवेंथ गाइस यू विल सी बिफोर योर पीक स्टार्ट्स ऑफ स्कूल स्टडीज एंड इंडियन कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जाम एसिटी का एग्जाम देके आप अपना स्कोर लेके बैठ सकते हैं एंड यू कैन कॉन्सेंट्रेट ऑन योर एप्लीकेशन बिल्डिंग यू कैन कॉन्सेंट्रेट ऑन योर इंडियन कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जाम यू कैन कॉन्सेंट्रेट ऑन योर स्कूल स्टडीज मीन्स दिस इज अ वेरी वेरी गुड option or plan b for 10th guys if you are in 10th right now so do hamare zoom mein koi 10th mein nahi tha but if your siblings are aapke relative mein koi hai to main aapko quickly dikha deta hu largely it is the same thing only years have changed baki sari cheeze waise hi behave karengi so i'll save some time and i'll not get into detail of this let's go to the next thing so if you look into sat or study abroad thing इट इज बोर्ड इंडिपेंडेंट ऐसा नहीं है आप शायद पूछेंगे क्या आई बी लेना जरूरी है टेंथ के बाद आई बी बोर्ड में चले जाए क्या विल इट गिव एनी डिस्टिंग एडवांटेज लेट मी टेल यू दैट इज नॉट देश यू कैन कम फ्रॉम एनी बोर्ड स्टडी अब्रॉड इज इंडिपेंडेंट ऑफ दोर्ड इट इज इंडिपेंडेंट ऑफ स्ट्रीम यू कुड बी अ साइंस कॉमर्स ह्यूमैनिटी स्टूडेंट आप एस ए टी दे सकते हैं क्योंकि एस ए टी तो एक एप्टीट्यूड टेस्ट है ये कोई सब्जेक्ट नॉलेज वाला टेस्ट नहीं है इट इज सिमिलरली स्टैंडर्ड इंडिपेंडेंट सर ने बताया आप नाइन्थ में दे सकते हो टेंथ में दे सकते हो इलेवेंथ इज द वेरी पॉपुलर ईयर जब बच्चे एस सी टी देते हैं ट्वेल्थ में भी दे सकते हैं विदाउट गेटिंग लेव हाँ अगर मैं आपसे अभी जुलाई में अगस्त में बात कर रहा होता तो मैं आपको बोलता अब ट्वेल्थ में अगर आप हो तो एस सी टी के लिए लेट हो गए हो बट नॉट नाउ अभी स्टिल ऑन टाइम सो वॉट आर माई प्रोग्राम वेयर इज दैट आई कैन हेल्प यू मैं आपकी कहाँ कहाँ हेल्प कर सकता हूँ एट यू टी so if you are in 9th and 10th standard though they are not any as i understand from the poll we do foundation sat programs we call it psat and we are doing a screener exam on 16th april jisme hum aapko ye bata rahe hain ki kya psat aapke liye but this is strictly for 9th and 10th students where we do foundation of sat and we do profile building 
अभी से ही कौन से कोर्सेज एक्स्ट्रा करो क्या लैंग्वेजेस पढ़ो कौन से कम्युनिटी सर्विस करो नाइन टेन से प्रोफाइल बिल्डिंग चालू कर देते हैं इफ यू आर इन इलेवेंथ एंड ट्वेल्थ आई हैव टू थिंग्स फॉर यू I I am entire training option. We do SAT. We will help you with TOEFL. So, आपका पूरा training का part हम कर सकते हैं. This is part one. The second is application support. जैसा मैंने बताया, score आने पे कोई counselling नहीं होती. Unlike India, कोई आपको कहीं बुलाता ही नहीं है. You will have to make an application, file the application. So, filing application is equally important part for uh, studying abroad. So, we will help you there. तो ये कैसे रन होता है लेट मी क्विकली टेल यू वी डू फाइव बैचेस इन अयर फॉर एस एटी छह अटेम्प्ट होते हैं उसमें से पांच अटेम्प्ट्स हमारे टारगेट अटेम्प्ट्स हैं हर अटेम्प्ट के लिए हम एक बैच करते हैं सो माय बैच इज कमिंग ऑन सिक्सटीन अप्रैल विच इज नेक्स्ट संडे विच विल टारगेट ऑगस्ट एस दिस इज अ फोर आवर्स पर वीक का एंगेजमेंट सैटरडे संडे की क्लासेज हैं टू आवर्स पर क्लास सैटरडे इवनिंग दो घंटे संडे मॉर्निंग दो घंटे और ऐसा दिस गोज फ्रॉम 16 टू 18 वीक्स एंटायर ट्रेनिंग एंड मॉक टेस्टिंग तो हम स्टडी मटेरियल देते हैं मॉक टेस्टिंग करते हैं पूरी ट्रेनिंग करते हैं तो वी कवर द एंटायर स्कोप फॉर एस एंड आगे जाके टॉफेल तो अगर आप एस ज्वाइन करते हैं टॉफेल इज पार्ट ऑफ इट इट इज ऑफर यू एज अ पार्ट ऑफ दिस प्रोग्राम एप्लीकेशन सपोर्ट जो मैंने आपको बताया ये इक्वली इंपॉर्टेंट है इट हैज four important parts or other five important parts where we help you build your profile aapki profile mein kya cheeze highlight karne layak hain hum uske hisab se usko build karte hain we do university selection for you basis aapka budget basis major jo aapko karna hai kaun si country mein jana hai geographic constraints hain and so on then we help you with all the documentation part lors and sops and transcripts and all that we help you then we help you with फाइलिंग ऑफ एप्लीकेशन एक एक डेडलाइन के पहले एप्लीकेशन को फाइल करना और फिर इससे आगे बढ़ के आपके वीजा के लिए जो आपको एक डॉक्यूमेंट लगेगा विच इज कॉल्ड आई ट्वेंटी उसमें हेल्प करना तो दिस इज एंटायर स्पेक्ट्रम ऑफ एप्लीकेशन सपोर्ट एप्लीकेशन ट्रेनिंग मेरा बैच में होता है बट इफ आई डू एप्लीकेशन वी डू वन ऑन वन अ स्टूडेंट इज you know uh, helped by or or i should say you know uh, is is facilitated by three important resource people first is a mentor mentor is a person like anubhav sir like myself where we help you build your profile where we do university mapping university selection kab apply karna hai kaise apply karna hai the second resource is a content expert i will call this person as university expert Who would know कौन सी यूनिवर्सिटी में क्या लिखना है और यूनिवर्सिटी को क्या सुनना पसंद है लेटर ऑफ रिकमेंडेशन में एस एज में एंड थर्ड इज अ कोर्डिनेटर हु इज बेसिकली कोर्डिनेटिंग द एंटायर एफर्ट ऑफ योर एप्लीकेशन राइट फ्रॉम गेटिंग ऑल योर डॉक्यूमेंट्स एट वन प्लेस चेकिंग दी डेट्स एंश्योरिंग यू फाइल एप्लीकेशन ऑन टाइम एंड देन ट्रैकिंग दी स्टेटस ऑफ योर एप्लीकेशन ऑल इन ऑल इट्स अ कॉम्प्रीहेंसिव सपोर्ट दैट यू गेट अंडर वन रूफ we do all our classes physically from ut khargar branch agar aap online karna chahte hain online option bhi hai otherwise physically from ut khargar navi mumbai branch se we run all our classes offline classes are have when if you are doing online it will happen on zoom with a ut coordinator on zoom we do testing kyunki ye digital ho gaya hai so entire digital testing support is available and uh, there's of course a rich experienced faculty team in place led by anubhav sir where he would take some math some english classes myself i'll take some maths and english class mrs nandini bhattacharya our grammar expert english grammar expert professor uday uh, who is a quant quants experts maths expert so agar aap hamare beech mein dekhenge between four of us we would carry 100 years of uh, training coaching Uh, students on various competitive exams, including SAT, GRE, and so on. Some results, so proof of pudding. क्या काम कर रहे हैं हम? ये सात आठ साल से जो है ये हमारा vertical है, study abroad vertical. ये कैसा कर रहा है? So this fills uh, our heart with lot of pride. Where we have the student called Kavya Jairaman. और जिस तरह से मैं आपसे अभी बात ही कर रहा हूँ, Kavya is going this year. to a uh, ivy league she is going to cornell university ivy league un universities ko bola jata hai jo duniya ki top 8 universities hain unme se ek ka naam hai cornell university usa 
काव्य जिसने एस ए टी में फिफ्टीन सेवेंटी का स्कोर किया आउट ऑफ सिक्सटीन हंड्रेड एंड देन उसको स्कूल ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग में कॉर्नल में एडमिशन मिला है वो इस ऑगस्ट जा रही है वहां पे पढ़ने अभी उसने अपने ट्वेल्थ के बोर्ड एग्जाम से लिखे देन दिस इज समर्थ जैन जो ऑलरेडी यूएस में है ये 2021 में चला गया था दो साल पहले अब वो अपने थर्ड ईयर में इंटर करने वाला है सो समर्थ गॉड 100 परसेंट स्कॉलरशिप एट यूपेन ये भी एक आईवी लीग है एक कॉर्नल था एक यूपेन है यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ पेंसिल्वेनिया ये वहां पे पढ़ रहा है ही ऑल्सो वर्क विद आर एसोसिएट दी ग्लोबलाइजर्स उनके साथ काम किया इसने डिजिटल एसिटी पहली बार दुनिया में मार्च में हुआ था जो मैं आपको बता रहा था इससे पहले पेंसिल पेपर बेस्ड था एंड मार्च इंडियन स्टूडेंट्स के लिए उतना कंड्यूजिव नहीं होता है क्योंकि उनके एग्जाम्स होते हैं तो हमारे कुछ बच्चों ने उसको लिखा एंड वन ऑफ आर स्टूडेंट आई बी जिसको हम uh, प्यार से ऐसे बोलते हैं सो ही सेट सर मेरा नाम आई बी ही प्रिंट करिए तो हमने आई बी प्रिंट किया है ही गॉट अफ्टीन सेवेंटी का स्कोर देस चिन्मय फोर्टीन थर्टी एंड देन देज अनिर गॉट थर्टीन एटी तो पहली बार डिजिटल एस एटी हुआ था एंड वी हैड समेस्टिक रिजल्ट ये मेरे और दूसरे बच्चों के एस ए टी रिजल्ट हैं विद काव्यज रिजल्ट इज देयर आई बी इज देयर अश्विन देश पांडे जिसको आपने वीडियो में देखा फिफ्टीन सिक्सटी एंड अंश एंड ए एम और के जे आर एन सो यू कैन सी दैट द लॉर्ड ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स हु डू सो वेल ऑन एस ए टी एक छोटा सा चार महीने का ट्रेनिंग प्रोग्राम करके बच्चे बहुत अच्छा करते हैं इस एग्जाम में then university admits so again uh, various universities us agar aap dekhenge cornell virginia tech howard purdue then you have university of waterloo from canada ucl uk united kingdom ki top 3 universities mein iska naam aata hai ucl aryan wahan gaya hai then njit and university of california ohio uiuc whole lot of universities from germany sweden sweden us canada uk bachche Uh, हर जगह जाते हैं और ये हमारा पूरा फुटप्रिंट है अक्रॉस ग्लोब सो नेक्स्ट आई हैंड इट ओवर टू अनुभव सर अनुभव सर बैक टू यू फॉर दी थर्ड सेक्शन ऑफ आर वेबिनार थैंक यू सो थैंक यू वेरी मच मनीष सर नाउ लेट मी टेक ओवर फ्रॉम हियर एंड लेट मी शेयर माय प्रेजेंटेशन सो वी स्टार्टेड विद दीज वेरियस क्वेश्चन जो मैं वी स्टार्टेड विथ Uh, how, what, where, when? I say when. सबसे पहला शायद when था. Then we went on to how. Then what? So if you will appreciate and understand, till now we've answered the first three questions: when, how, and what. Now allow me to take it forward from here and answer the next question or the last question: where to study abroad? हमने उसमें एक प्लान बी का भी ऑप्शन क्वेश्चन आंसर कर दिया तो मैं अब दो सेक्शंस को आंसर करूंगा वेयर एंड कॉस्ट्स ये दो चीजें अब मैं आंसर करूंगा सो वेयर टू स्टडी अब्रॉड सो ये कहा जाना है यू हैव लॉट्स ऑफ ऑप्शंस अवेलेबल यू कैन गो टू एनी कंट्री यूएस यूके ऑस्ट्रेलिया न्यूजीलैंड कौन सी कंट्री में जाना है जर्मनी नेदरलैंड सो हाउ टू डिसाइड वॉट आर दी फैक्टर्स ऑन विच दूनिवर्सिटी एंड कंट्री इज डिसाइड सो there are many factors some among them factors are first is which language speaking country you want to get into so second college rankings kya college rankings hai third your academic scores aapke score pe aapko kaun sa mil raha hai yaar what are the costs associated you may have a budget constraint so uske upar depend kare then what is the major you are wanting to study so uske upar and sixth could be other preferences you may have your मामा बुआ चाचा स्टेइंग इन अ कंट्री एंड यू वांट टू कि मेरे मामा ऑस्ट्रेलिया रहते हैं तो मेरे को ऑस्ट्रेलिया ही जाना है सो दो आर अदर प्रेफरेंसेस या मेरे चाचा यूएस रहते हैं तो यू वांट टू गो टू यूएस सो डिपेंडिंग अपॉन ऑल दीज फैक्टर्स वी कम टू अ बास्केट ऑफ यूनिवर्सिटीज और अ कंट्री वेयर वी अप्लाई तो अगर सबसे पहला फैक्टर अगर एक्सप्लोर करते हैं लैंग्वेज द मोमेंट यू से दैट यू वांट टू प्रेफर एन इंग्लिश स्पीकिंग कंट्री So, जैसे ही आप इंग्लिश स्पीकिंग कंट्री बोलते हैं तो पॉपुलर इंग्लिश स्पीकिंग कंट्रीज ये वाली यूएस कनाडा ऑस्ट्रेलिया न्यूजीलैंड यूके सिंगापुर हांगकांग दुबई आयरलैंड तो इसमें जैसे समी से मेरे को जर्मनी जाना है तो जर्मनी में यू हैव टू अक्वायर कॉम्पिटेंस ऑफ अ लैंग्वेज जर्मन इफ यू से यू वॉन्ट टू गेट टू नेदरलैंड तो वहां पर आपको डच लैंग्वेज की कॉम्पिटेंस अक्वायर करनी फ्रांस फ्रेंच सो इफ यू आर 
saying that no, I want to only go to English-speaking countries, then largely this focus will be. That is one fact. Why did I highlight the US ko highlight kara hai isme? is because now the second factor is coming in college rankings. Now, we also consider various college rankings. There are agencies by name, US and QS News, which colleges all over the world ko rank. Karte. We've done their subscription. They help in shortlisting these universities. Country-wise, if I tell you a major-wise, so if you look at this, what they have done is US has 13 universities in the top 25 of the world, five in 26 to 50 of the world, 13 in top 51 to 100 rankings. So there are total 31 universities in the top 100 of the world. Top 100 may US has 31 universities, UK has 16 universities. So, if you look at this, the US becomes a very, very popular option. And this is how these options are. And students select based on rankings. So, that is one way of finding out where you want to go. <laughs> these are the top 20 universities of the world. Subse number one is MIT, US. Second is Stanford. Third is Harvard. Yes, some US. Mein. Caltech, that again is in the US. Then fifth comes University of Oxford which is in UK, Cambridge, again in UK, Switzerland, ki Zurich University, Swiss Federal Institute of Technology, then Imperial College, London, UK, uh, University of Chicago, US, and UCL, which is our child in the UK, mein, uh, Aryan. So these are the universities. Then two universities in Singapore, NUS and Nanyang, Princeton, Cornell, where Kavya is gone. This is the 14th ranked university. Kavya has got this admission mila hai. Yale. Columbia, again US, then this is one Chinese university, University of Edinburgh, UK, UPenn, University of Pennsylvania, UPenn, this is where our associate student went and one of our master students are going this year, University of Michigan. So these are the top 20 sample universities. So as I said, we are working with not in the non-merit root sector, we are working in the merit root sector. And this is where we are getting into these universities. The third factor is your scores and college ranking, depending upon what your score is. So, this is a rough thumb rule. Suppose if you get a 1500 plus SAT score and your 9th, 10th, 11th score is above 95%, then your chances of getting into a top 25 is pretty high. But if you are here, then you will get here. If you are here, then you will get here. But if you are here, then you will get here. But these are good universities, top 200 of the world. So, aise aapko ye mila. So, depending upon all of this, you would get. Let me just clear all the drawings. So, depending upon what is your SAT score or your school GPA, you will get an admin. So, that is also a contributory factor to decide where you can go. Third is, uh, fourth is very important, which all of you are watching from that, so tell us, tell us, tell us how much money is going to be. So yes, so this is the very important slide. So kharcha, I have divided it into three baskets, economical, mid-range and premium. So economical, mein, approximately between 15 to 25 lakh rupees, one year, generally 4 years of program, so that means 15 multiplied by 4, 60 lakhs, 25 multiplied by 4, 1 CR. Mid-range may itna 25 to 40 lakhs, 1 to 1.6 CR. Premium may 40 to 60 lakh rupees per year, 1.6 to 2.4 CR per year, four years. So, ye a typical cost ka idea. This includes everything. Rehna, khana, peena, aana, jana, everything. These are lump sum costs. And these are indicative costs. So, ab isme primarily, now it doesn't matter. Is there economical matlab, achhi quality nahi? Nahi. Cost is not a function of quality. There are very good universities in economical side also. There are very good universities in the premium side also. Ab aapke budget ke anusar, aapko, we can suggest universities. Suppose you say, ki, I have only an economical budget, then we'll recommend you like Purdue is a very economical university, but very highly ranked university. But if you're saying you have no budget constraints, and you are willing to go to UPenn or Cornell, Cornell comes in the premium category. 
सो so, अलग अलग यूनिवर्सिटीज की अलग अलग कॉस्टिंग है और आपको हर ब्रैकेट में हर तरह की क्वालिटी की यूनिवर्सिटी मिलेगी सो ड्यूरिंग आर यूनिवर्सिटी एप्लीकेशन प्रोसेस वी हेल्प यू विद विच इज द राइट फिट फॉर यू सो ये कॉस्ट का एस्टिमेट You can ask me questions during the one-on-one -on -one talk. After, as I quickly finish my presentation, then you can keep your questions reserved, and I'll be more than happy to answer these questions. Next is scholarship. क्या scholarships मिलती हैं? Yes, scholarships मिलती हैं. Scholarship दो तरह की होती हैं. एक scholarship है at the time of application. वो merit-based scholarships हैं, need-based scholarships हैं. On economical level, ये कम जनों को मिलती हैं, बहुत कम. तो ये जैसे हमारे associate uh, का students हमारे who went to U P N, he got a hundred percent scholarship. ये ऐसे बहुत कम जन को मिलती है लेकिन हम मिलती आर स्टूडेंट आयुष आल्सो गॉट दी स्कॉलरशिप हर साल मिलती है लेकिन रिलेटिवली कम आती है बट आफ्टर जॉइनिंग कैंपस दी स्टूडेंट्स बिकम अ टीचिंग असिस्टेंट रिसर्च असिस्टेंट अ लेबोरेटरी असिस्टेंट दे गेट पेड स्पाइटम स्टाइपन मिलता है उनको मेरिट स्कॉलरशिप मिलती है ये बहुत सारे बच्चों एट्टी परसेंट अपर जब एटी परसेंट स्टूडेंट गेट स्कॉलरशिप तो जो मैंने खर्चा आपको पहली स्लाइड में बताया कोई एक पेरेंट इंडियन पेरेंट ने वो स्लाइड देखी एंड द पेरेंट्स इज अच्छा अनुभव सर कह रहे हैं एक से सवा करोड़ का खर्चा आएगा तो मतलब मेरे को डेढ़ करोड़ की प्लानिंग करनी चाहिए बिकॉज वो आप इन्फ्लेशन जोड़ेंगे वो जोड़ेंगे ऐसे करके नहीं उल्टा एक सवा करोड़ का है तो आप अस्सी लाख से सत्तर अस्सी लाख में आपका काम हो जाए बिकॉज यू गेट दी स्कॉलरशिप क्या ये रेगुलर है हाँ रेगुलर बहुत सारे बच्चों को सो दैट्स अबाउट स्कॉलरशिप नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन जो पेरेंट्स में सबसे ज्यादा पूछते हैं क्या अनुभव सर कैन वी गेट लोन इन दिस यस बहुत आसानी से लोन मिलेंगे लोन इज गिवन इन द नेम ऑफ स्टूडेंट अगेंस्ट मॉडगेज जैसे आपका खारगर में या नवी मुंबई में टू बी एच के थ्री बी एच के फ्लैट है और उसका वैल्यूएशन है टू सी आर तो टू सी आर के सामने डेढ़ पौने दो लाख डेढ़ पौने दो करोड़ का लोन आराम से मिल जाए अबाउट वो आराम से मिल जाए तो पेरेंट एक्ट एज अ गारंटर फ्लेक्सिबल रीपेमेंट टर्म्स First payment happens only after six years. General tenure is fifteen to twenty years. And this loan is the loan is in the name of the student. So loans, क्या हमारे बच्चों के loans हमने approve करवाए? Yes, बहुत easily approve हो जाते हैं. As you get into good universities, बहुत आसानी से ये loans मिलते हैं. Available interest rates as low as seven to eight percent. So other factors. जो मैं आज इधर डिस्कस नहीं इट कुड बी वेदर आपकी पर्सनल चॉइस आपका मेजर ये सब फैक्टर्स से आप फाइव थाउजेंड यूनिवर्सिटीज हैं वो बास्केट में तो वो कैसे आप चूज करेंगे सो दीज अदर फैक्टर्स हेल्प यू टू चूज कि कौन सी यूनिवर्सिटी में जाना है सो वी एट यू टी प्रोवाइड द एप्लीकेशन सपोर्ट जिससे हम आपको हेल्प करते हैं टू बिल्ड योर लिस्ट ऑफ यूनिवर्सिटीज सो वी नाउ आंसर All the original questions which we talked about. So SAT का क्या फायदा है? UT has made it so easy to combine at all levels. आप nine, ten, eleven, twelve कहीं पे भी चाहें तो आप study abroad को अपना बना सकते हैं. We have been a school leader since twenty four years and we can combine it with other entrance exams also. IPM के साथ combine करना है, CA foundation के साथ combine करना है, integrated JE के साथ combine करना है, NEET के साथ combine करना है. हम वो सब combine करके दे देंगे and you will be able to very seamlessly create it as a plan B. So that's the overall benefit of SAT program at UT. So it's a good alternate option in the present scenario. So we started with lots of questions. I hope I have answered all the questions. Uh, we started with when, uh, how, what. ये तीन मैंने आंसर करे मैंने और how और what मेरी कलीग मनीष सर ने आंसर करे where ये क्वेश्चन का आंसर अभी मैंने किया We started with lots of questions. अगर आपके फिर भी अभी क्वेश्चन हो तो यू कैन विजिट आर वेबसाइट स्टडी अब्रॉड एस्पायर की वेबसाइट है डेडिकेटेड वेबसाइट है एंड अ लॉट ऑफ आंसर विल बी अवेलेबल ऑन आर वेबसाइट सो यूनिवर्सल टूटोरियल डॉट इन इज आर जनरल वेबसाइट But our study abroad website is utaspire.in. Is pe dedicated study abroad ka bahut sara material available hai. You can also go through that material. So this is our website. Plus now we've all. I hope you have answers, but you may have more questions. So now it's time for asking. If you have more questions, ki beto fil IELT a subject kaise thi, ya Germany kaise jaate, migration kaise karna hai, Europe UK, ya apko kuch best university in this. Aise sare questions. Which are very specific targeted questions because इसमें हमने काफी कुछ कवर करने की कोशिश करी but if you have some very specific questions 
we request you to take appointment. Mera ya Mani sir ka appointment le sakte hain. By calling up Mrs. Surjit, her number is 9888199826 or emailing her at utnmsurjit at the gmail.com. Call her up, fix an appointment. Me or Manish sir can be available either on Zoom or physically at Khargar. And you can choose to come and meet us and we can help you to enroll in our programs or answer your specific queries. That's what you can do. You can also do a profile assessment with me. That's again, you have to contact Surjit ma'am, 9888199826 for if you want to do a formal profile assessment with me. Now we are for ready for question answers. So you can unmute yourself and ask me questions. But before that, if you want a WhatsApp pe aapko PDF copy chahiye is presentation ki, to ye ek number hai 771004690. I repeat, 771004690. Is pe ek high bhejiye WhatsApp pe and you will receive a PDF copy of this presentation. So now we are at the end of the presentation. Thank you for patiently listening in. Now we can, we are looking to answer whatever questions you have. Ek aur chat pe, mere colleague Nilesh ne ek link forward kari hai aapke chat pe. Us pe please humko feedback dijiye. Main aur Manish, hum log bahut, uh, I hope aapko achcha laga, mehnat karte hai uh, before presenting these, uh, yeh sab presentations. So agar aapka feedback aata hai, usse humko malum padta hai ki hum kaisa kar rahe So please let us know. Now please unmute yourself and ask questions. Any questions that you may have, uh, your specific case, ko leke, our presentation, ko leke, feel free to ask. Thank you, Vagmare Saab. Thank you so much. Any questions? Right, so you, know, you have that WhatsApp number, you can get a personal copy of the presentation. Plus, you can also call up Ms. Surji uh, if you want to discuss your case on one on one basis, either by visiting one of our offices or uh, over Zoom. So, do let us know. Thank you so much. If there are no questions, then we are done for the day. Thank you for joining in, and uh, we look forward to see you again in some of our other webinars. Keep watching our Facebook page. Thank you. Oh, there's a question in chat, sir. Huh. So there's a question. Uh, sir, for how many hours these studies will go on every day? For SAT training, four hours per week. Two hours on Saturday evening, two hours on Sunday afternoon. So this is how Sunday morning rather. So four hours per week, and it will continue for about 16 weeks, a total of three months or four months. And the SAT classes are beginning from next Sunday, 16th April onwards. So admissions have already started. So you could approach Surjit ma'am. Her number is the same number. Surjit ka niche number diya hai, 9 888 That is Surjit's number. And if you want a PDF, it is 771 000 4690. Any other questions? <laughs>